Good morning from BBC London. I'm Laxmi Gopal. Following the publication of the final report from the Grenfell Fire Inquiry, the focus for some survivors is now on holding to account the people and organisations named in the report. And you can get all the details of that final report on the BBC News website. A female cyclist has been taken to hospital with potentially life-changing injuries after a crash with a lorry in Parliament Square. Quick thinking from Marie-Therese Gumpert prevented what could have been a major multi-vehicle motorway pile-up after the driver of the bus she was travelling in passed out at the wheel. Very quick thinking by Marie. Now for a look at your travel news on the Tube. Morning. Now for the weather, here's Corsa. I'll be back in around half an hour with more news, travel and weather. Now back to Nagar and Charlie. Welcome to BBC London. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laxmi Gopal. After a damning report into the Grenfell fire following a years-long wait, survivors and bereaved families now look to when the promised changes and justice will be delivered. The inquiry's report highlighted a chain of failures across successive governments and the private sector. But it'll be more than two years before final decisions on any potential criminal charges. Aisha Baksh has been speaking to a community seeking accountability. And of course, it's been a particularly difficult couple of days for those of you more directly affected by the Grenfell report findings. But you don't have to... Next, this lunchtime, more strike action in London as healthcare support staff in Lewisham and Greenwich walk out in a dispute over pay. Unison members say support staff are being forced to carry out clinical tasks beyond their pay band without fair compensation. The NHS Trust says it's in ongoing discussions with unions. Jessica Yaw has been at the picket line at Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Greenwich today. School children in the ultra-low emission zone were more likely to walk or cycle after its introduction compared to those outside the zone, according to new research from Cambridge University. Now, something for you if you're a film fan, the BFI has announced the full programme for its annual London Film Festival. As you'd expect, it's star-studded, featuring big names including Daniel Craig, Steve McQueen and Angelina Jolie. And this year, good news, there are cheaper £5 tickets for those aged under 25. Michael McKenzie reports. Time to see when we'll get some sunshine again. Here's Corsa with the forecast. That's it from BBC London. Now it's time to go back to Ben Brown with the rest of the